for your winner by unanimous decision, Shaka Stevenson. What's up, it's your boy Remus. Welcome back to Remus Boxing News, where we cover the latest trending topics in the boxing world today. We're covering the fight and the aftermath of the fight between uh, Shaka Stevenson and Robson Kinsecha. Now, this was fight. Uh, this fight was held at 130 pounds. As we know, uh, Shaka Stevenson he's dominating down there, and we want him to, you know, move up to the lightweight division so that we can, you know, get those fights in. And um, maybe it looks like the time has come for that because for this fight, of course, it was contested at 130, but really was it because uh, he came in at 131 and a half pounds and he lost his belts on the scales so um he said that you know he really tried to get down he had lost like 12 pounds in the last three days before that and he could he just couldn't get down to the 130 pound limit so he lost the one uh the wbo and the wbc titles on the scales it was vacant but of course can say Chow couldn't get the the win because the fight was dominated by Shakur stevenson um, I think he had him on the canvas on the fourth round. It was a very clean performance by him. Um, the one thing that I personally would have wanted a bit more is I wish that he had more of a killer instinct. Like there were times where he got him with some really good shots and he wobbled him and it's almost like he didn't seem to notice. And it's always a good trait to have when a fighter knows that he can, uh, he's got someone hurt and he doesn't get overly excited, but then you still want them to, to get a little bit excited enough to like try to take him out there and then. So personally, I would like to see him have uh, more of a killer instinct because I think he could have got him, gotten him out of there. But maybe the weight issues had some sort of a, you know, thing to do with it. Because, of course, he said he was, like, killing himself trying to make that weight. So if he's trying to come down like that, then it does make sense that maybe he doesn't have the full energy to go or the full motivation to just, you know, go ahead and stop him. But I don't know. Maybe you can comment your thoughts on that. Did it have an effect? Did it not? But then the focus comes to who's next after the fight, right? And for most of us or many people in the boxing world, they've been saying that Stevenson could be the guy to dominate at 135 because he has the most skills. Um, you know, you can comment down below what you think of that. You know, we got guys like Davis. Um, we've got, uh, of course, Haney, you know, who's the undisputed champion. We still got Lomachenko, even though he's doing his stuff, you know, back in his home country. Um, so the talk was about who would potentially be next it would either be Devin Haney, who is the undisputed champion, and by the way, is someone who Stevenson said is the top guy in that division because he has all of the belts. Um, and then the discussion was also about uh, fighting Lomachenko. So he said he doesn't really mind, you know, either way, he's ready to take on all comers. Um, I think whoever I fight um, is going to be a big fight. Whoever I fight, as far as any, anybody in that lightweight division, it's all big names, but um, I'm down to fight whoever. I'm with So he's with it, you know, with whoever it potentially could be. Um, it might not be Haney anytime soon because Haney might be moving up to 140. He says it's hard for him to get down and stay at 135, but he's willing to do it for the big fights. Um, so I personally think Lomachenko is more likely to happen um, soon. It would be a good fight. It would be a good one for Shaka to enter the 135 division in. Would be a good one for uh, Lomachenko to prove that he's at the top level again. And then the winner could maybe fight for the undisputed. But those are my thoughts. I want to know what you think. Um, can Stevenson dominate at 135 considering the other guys who are in there? And um, yeah, who would you like to see him fight next? Haney or Lomachenko? So comment down below. Let Remus know. I'll see you.